I got offered over the phone for my agents. They said, oh, they want to do a narration. And I said, cool. When the first time the script came, I found it very shallow. I felt the action was there. I felt the storyline was there, the, the development of the character. Um, he was almost humanoid rather than being human. And they said, well, talk to us. And that's and we basically rebuilt a bit of Sam's character. And that was the very first game, I think. What's different about what we're doing on this title is um, we're combining face, body, and voice. And we're doing so in a, in a live volume with as many characters as we need. We're not layering it. We're not, we're, not, uh, we're not adding voice later. It's a fully demanding character now. It's a fully demanding process, physical. We needed somebody that could bring the physicality uh, to the dialogue, um, meaning it needed to be captured at the same time. So we needed to have breathiness, we needed to have exertion, we needed to have off mic, on mic, really to make it feel real and there. So um, Eric, because of all his TV and film experience, could walk right into this and plug in physically perfect, um, perfect physique, great height and body that, fa that match our skeleton. Um, and um, you know, in, in, in physically fit, so that I can just bring in a stunt coordinator and get him to do a lot of the action. Kevin, who we have as as the stunt double, is is really a, a real life Sam Fisher. He's amazing, and so any chance I get to work with him in, in terms of uh, the right way to move, the right way to hold the weapons, just that sort of elite uh, covert ops uh, physicality has just been awesome. Working with Eric makes directing really easy. It feels like he's a perfect memory because every time uh, I go on to set, I never see him carrying a script. So um, I've never seen, I've never met somebody who's more off book. He's got chops as an actor. The point is, is giving himself permission to be organically correct, to be organically. He doesn't. He's not trying to be Michael Ironside. He's not trying to be a Sam Fisher from the past. He's got something that's marketable, you know. And he's good at what he does. He's not here by mistake. The man's a good actor. The fans of Splinter Cell are going to be very pleasantly surprised when they play this game. We are taking things to a whole new level, not in just the technology of how we're doing it, but these stories are intense and we're doing things that Sam Fisher has never done before. So uh, I, hope you, uh, I hope you stay tuned because we're having a lot of fun doing this. Sounds big!